Welcome guys. In this lecture, I would like to teach you guys how we can set up protected routes. If currently right now, if you look over here in our local storage in our cookies, we are not signed in, right? There's nothing there and we're also in our sign in page. So we're not signed in. But if I go over here to the URL and switch that from sign up, sign in to say uh, admin dashboard, I'm able to navigate to it. And the same thing with user. If I switch that to user dashboard, press return, I'm able to go to user dashboard. But yet if we look at local storage and cookies, we're not authentic. We're not signed in yet. And you can even look over here. If we look at the, the menu, it still shows us sign in and sign up. And we know that previously we had set it up that uh, so that if we're signed in, it would only show the dashboard and log out. And if we weren't, it would show this up, the, uh, the home sign up and sign in. So this is not currently our, our routes are not protected. Okay. So that's what I want to work on in this lecture is anything that that requires a use any pages that requires a user to be logged in whether it be admin that in on the admin side or uh, or signed in user uh, we want those routes to be protected the only thing we want you know I guess open to the public that anybody could navigate to if they're not signed in is the home pay the home uh, sign up and sign in um, I'm not sure if maybe in the future we might decide to have some other, I don't know, maybe like an about page or something like that. But for now, this is all we have that those are only public pages that I, I currently see right now. But everything else is pretty much you have to be logged in. OK, so let's go ahead and set those protected routes up. Um, I'm going to start off with creating an admin, uh, the admin uh, route. Uh, these are going to be components, by the way, also. OK, so we're going to start off with the admin route. Uh, so over here in component, let's go to new file and let's call this uh, admin route, admin route.js. And while we're at it, might as well just do the user route. Go ahead and create user route, user route.js. Okay. All right. So we have our admin uh, route right here. Um, okay, so we have our admin route right here. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to import React from React. Let's go ahead and start a component. It's going to be a functional component. We're going to call it admin route. All right. We're going to export default admin route. All right, next thing we want to do is we want to return. Actually, let's make these uh, curly braces just like this. Let's see. All right. So, oh, spelled default wrong. Put that L there. All right, that's why the error was coming along. All right, so now we have our admin route and inside our return, well, actually what we want, we want to destructure a few things from our props. And the first thing is we want to destructure component. Um, for now, I'm just going to write, I'm just going to type out a few things here um, and I'll explain to you shortly. Okay, the other one was, I'm going to do um, rest. All right, there we go, just like that. All right, so right here, what we're saying is the props, the props object has a property called component. And what we want to do is assign it to a variable called component. Okay. But notice that the one that, the, that comes with the props object that's available to us is in a lower case C and the reassignment that we're trying to, uh, uh, assign this variable or uh, assign this component to we have it assigned to a variable called component with a capital C now this is impo important there's a reason why we're not doing it just like this because we could do like this just to structure like this 
but we need to re re uh, call it by by component with a capital C because in React, um, I'm sure you know that components so our our custom components they have uh, for JSX to recognize uh, our custom component it has to be a, a capital a capitalized the first letter. Okay, that's how JSX in React is able to identify it as a React as a component. All right, so this is why we're doing that like this. Now this part right here is we're saying to spread out because we know these three these three dots like this it means to spread out. Uh, we're trying to spread out the props property, but reassigning it to a variable we're calling rest. Okay, and we're doing this to avoid this for naming conflicts. But um, yeah, this is spreading out the props, the rest of the props. So we we're pulling out the component here, and it's saying, okay, spread out whatever's left in the props, but reassign it to a variable called rest. Okay, I know <laughs> that was an earful, and it's I, I'm sure it's very complicated. It's even complicated for me just explaining it. But uh, uh, but yeah, that's essentially what it is, and this is part of uh, when we're trying to create protected routes. This is. So, uh, this I guess you can say like the boilerplate code that's required all right and then we want to return and we want to start creating our custom route here um, I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to import let's go ahead and import a few things from the react router Dom uh, there we go and the first one is Oh, why do I just <laughs> I just noted I uh, noticed it's, I put route over there. I was supposed to destruction uh, pull out React from there. Over here is within the React router DOM libraries where I want to pull out the route. All right, route, and we also want to do a redirect. We're going to be using redirect as well. All right, so let's see. Oh, uh, okay. Why does uh, let me change this up a little here. Okay, so let's start building out our custom round. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take out, do rest, spread out the rest here, and then we want to do a render, oops, like this, and we want to pull out the routes, the props property, and then call a function. Uh, Come on, there we go. All right, and we want to render. All right, what do we wanna, all right, so we wanna create a condition here. Okay, so the condition we wanna do is we wanna check if the user is authenticated. Okay, so we wanna do if is, we let's do, let's import our is authenticated. And that is from, where's that? That's in, we gotta go, let's see, go back one directory, go into, comp no, no, go back directory and go into the helpers folder. And it was called auth. That's where we have our is authenticated function that we, we built. Is authenticated just like that. All right, so now we can make use of this function. And what we wanna do is we wanna do, we wanna ask the question, we say if, if is authenticated, parentheses because it's a function and is authenticated parentheses row is equivalent to one meaning admin then question mark meaning then when we're gonna, we're gonna uh, do something otherwise do something else all right, for this one, we're gonna redirect, redirect. We just we we we're using from React Router DOM, so uh, redirect to sign in component, okay. And over here, we want to use our custom component here, and then make available to that. Oh, all the props spread out all the props and make that available to our custom component all right just like that all right so 
again, let me try to go through this. So in this our custom route here, we're gonna render and we're gonna we're gonna use a render prop here. And we're gonna ask, we're gonna do a conditional check. We're saying if the user is authenticated and they're of row number one, they're of admin, then display our 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 custom component. And we're spreading out, making available to our custom component the props. Otherwise, redirect them to the sign in page. Okay. All right. Save that. And go go to the app js page uh, component and over here is where we have our route for the path to admin dashboard and we're just going to change this name from route to admin admin route okay so now this route should is going to be protected and we got to import that route we got to do import import admin route from admin route oh no what it okay it's admin dashboard no but it's admin route just like that all right you can go ahead and copy this and below it paste and just change this this name below to user route to user route all right and we'll be working on the user route shortly um, let's see, we got an error here. Parsing React, import React from React. Uh, let's see, number two, an admin route. Oh, okay, how did that happen? I didn't even notice. Okay. All right, save. All right, so let's give this a go. Let's, let's test this out. Okay, so let's see, are we let me see let's see local storage okay we're not signed in there's nine local storage and nine cookies here we're in the sign in component so again remember prior to this video starting we had we had done this we did the test and we know that when we were not uh, uh, we were not logged in we were able to go here to url and do what put your uh, admin dashboard in in the url and press return and it was allowing us to get access to that dashboard but now that we had created our protector route this shouldn't work so let's give this a, a try i'm going to press return and let's see if we're redirected because we should be redirected back to the sign in page i'm going to press return right now you see did you see that in the url you see i'll do it one more time pay attention to the url all right admin dashboard i'm going to preach uh, press return and then you're going to see it it's going to go it's going to switch over back to sign in you see, just like that. All right, so that's working exactly just the way we wanted to. But now look, we didn't work on we didn't work on the u uh, the user route yet. So it was just for the admin. So right now, if I do user dashboard, I should still be able to get access to this what to this route which or to this uh, page which con is considered protected. But um, so but we're gonna take care of that right now. All right. All right. So let's go ahead. And I'm gonna clear the site data, and let's go back to here. All right. And the great thing about this is that this is is pretty much just gonna be we're gonna be able to copy everything that's inside the admin route and copy it over to the user route. All right. So right here inside your admin route, go ahead and copy everything here. Copy it to your clipboard, and then go over to your user route that's empty, and go ahead and paste that. And we just have to make some very small changes. Like over here, we just change the name from admin route to user route. And everything's the same here. And except uh, right here where it says it's authenticated row is equivalent to one, change the one to zero because this route is specific to protected routes related to users, all right? So like user dashboard, uh, for example. All right, so if their user role is equal to, so change that from one to zero. All right, and everything else is the same. And then over here, change the, uh, change the name from admin to user role. All right, and go ahead and save that. And we had imported it here. Yes, we did import it here, but we have to change the name here. All right, 
uh, where are we? Okay, so over here, if we look over here, we see our user dashboard, it still has our the regular route. So go ahead and change this from just a regular route to user route. All right, just like that. And save it, and let's do this final test on the user. So currently look, looking at local storage and cookies, nothing in there, right? And we're in the sign in page. So let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, we did it. Okay. Well, all right. Let's, let's sign in for. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. So we're not signed in. We don't have anything in local source cookies. So now look, watch. If trying to go to the URL, and then this time let's try to do user and then dashboard and press enter. We should be redirected, right? And again, we're redirected to sign in because we're not logged in. So here, let's let's do this all. Uh, let's let's sign in as John Doe. John Doe is actually a regular user, um, so we so we should get re redirected to user dashboard. Okay, great. Um, let's go ahead and log out. And great, we're redirected. All right. So now let's try to change this ch uh, login as Jane Doe. Jane Doe is the admin. All right, Jane Doe. So, and then go ahead and sign in. We should, and we're redirected to the admin. All right, so log out. And there you go. So we have a fully, we have a complete authenticated application right now. We're able to have the user sign in, whether as an admin or user, and go to these protected pages. All right, so. At this point, right, what I want to do right now is I actually want to show you guys the full application where we're at this point. Because, um, to be uh, as a matter of fact, right now you don't have to. If if you want, at this point, you can just go ahead and stop the video and just you know go ahead and continue on to the next video. But right now, just is just a little extra because I know I haven't. I've been showing like partial screen and having the 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 dev tools uh, sidebar open so I kind of want to show you guys how it looks like right now so here we have our sign up page right right here right we don't have a home page yet but we will have that so we have our sign up page we have our sign in page just like this right and then if we sign in here is John Doe redirect it to uh, use dashboard and look at that all right we log out Great. Jane Doe, let's sign in as Jane Doe. Jane Doe, sign in. Boom. Uh, all right, great. So we have our dashboard and we log out. Oh. All right, guys, so that's it. So now we have set up our protected routes. So anytime in the, in the future, we will be having protected routes for either whether it be for the signed in user or the signed in admin. So we all we have to do is go to the app.js page uh, over here when we're creating our routes and just either assign it to user route or admin route. And these regular routes are simply just regular routes are routes uh, open to the public. It's for anybody to see. All right, guys, I hope uh, you guys were able to make sense of this. Uh, uh, but I tried my best. And um, all right, and that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.